To defend our democracy, the House will pass Congressman Castro's privilege resolution to terminate the emergency declaration tomorrow. I salute Congressman Castro for his work leading up to the moment so that we are ready. And he is chair of the House Congressional Hispanic Caucus. He's a distinguished member of Congress from the state of Texas, which has the longest border with Mexico. But this isn't about the border. This is about the Constitution of the United States. This is not about politics. It's not about partisanship. It's about patriotism. And so, uh, again, once we pass this resolution, we will send it over to the Senate. All members, as I say, have taken the oath of office. We would be delinquent in our duties if we did not resist, if we did not fight back uh, and to overturn the president's declaration. To, do not, to not do that would be to abandon our own responsibilities. We do not intend to do that. If the president is successful in getting his way on this, rest assured he will come back. He will try this again, probably on other issues, as will future presidents. The Congress must step up, must reclaim its role over the power of the purse. This resolution is critically important to the future of the relationship between the legislative and the executive branches above and beyond any party, above and beyond any president. This will require historic unity among members of Congress to make sure that this branch of government maintains its rightful place under our Constitution.